A bill that passed in the uh, State House of Representatives Thursday could dictate how the city of Jackson spends a part of its sales tax revenue. Yeah, uh, 12, this is Richard Lake joined us now live from City Hall with reaction from Jackson leaders. Richard? Well, Jackson Council members have voiced their opposition alongside state lawmakers as to what they are calling anti-Jackson legislation with House Bill 1168. House Bill 1168 would mandate that all the revenue collected from Jackson's 1% sales tax would be given to Jackson's water system. Sales tax revenue is currently allocated for roads and bridges alongside water and sewer. Author of the bill, District 8 Representative Trey Lamar, believes amidst Jackson's ongoing water crisis, the city needs the money. Jackson Representative Ronnie Crudup Jr. shared the city's point of view on the House floor Thursday morning. The people of Jackson want water. They want sewer that works, okay? They don't care where the money comes from, at the ones that I've spoken with. And gentlemen, we also want to make sure that we have good streets. We want to make sure we have bridges that are open. There's a lot of bridges within South and West Jackson that are not open right now. The bill was passed in the House by a vote of 76 to 41. Jackson leaders have called the bill ironic. They put a commission that we objected to in charge of our sales tax dollars, and now they want to say that th that commission itself, its own uh, body, is not doing what they needed to do, so they need to tell it what to do. At the end of the day, all of this is about them wanting to take over and put a, their own district within the capital city of Jackson, and this is our home. So instead of embracing us, they just want to take over. As the bill has already passed the House, Ward 2 Councilwoman Angelique Lee has asked residents to voice their opposition. They need to call their legislators, not just their legislators in the Hines County delegation, but all of the legislators. And just because they don't live in this city, we want to be protected. Now it's worth mentioning that the city of Jackson is still planning on receiving roughly $800 million in federal funding that will go towards their water system. Now, for now, it's from Richard Lake reporting live from City Hall for 12 News.